How the options menu works is you press options and then you get this menu here. Usually when you do the pause menu this appears to be transparent instead of the dirt background. Um, but when you go to any other tabs I believe it's the dirt menu. I think. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but up here you got your FOV which stands for field of view. Um, and uh, 70 is normal, and this is the minimum, this is the vanilla way of zooming in. And then you go all the way up to here, and I believe this is 110, which uh, it just translates to quite well. Uh, but I usually set it to 90, and I have it at 91 because I hate the number 90 for some reason. I honestly don't know why it's at 91. But, uh, Quake Pro is a bit much, so I, I always put it there. Uh, realms notification, I believe notifies you about realms, which I think has something to do with that. Um, so just that that's that's how that works. And then you have skin customization right here, which customizes the outer layer of your skin, whether or not you want your cape. Uh, your left arm, your right arm, a hat, which I have off, but I actually do have a hat. In fact, let me show you what my hat skin looks like. Just, uh, which world? Um, I think this is the survival world. Oh, right. Um, let's go in this world. I'm in the latest version, which is 1.14.4, not 3. So, um, yeah, my hat looks like that. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I thought this was a good idea. It was a horrible idea. Why did I make this? But that's a part of my skin that I'm incredibly embarrassed about, so I usually just turn that off. Also, I'm wrong about the dirt. Oh. Okay, well, when you go to certain panels that it's... Yeah. Only certain panels um, have the dirt background. Other panels are transparent. So anyway, skin and customization, you can actually change the main hand, which is left or right. I have it by default left. By default, it will be right. I change it to left. Uh, you change all this. Jacket is the outer skin layer for your torso. Right sleeve. Uh, pants leg is uh, you know, the, the, the leg outer layer. And the hat is the outer layer for your head. That that's how that works. And the cape is the the cape that goes behind you. Um, and when you're wearing elytra, something interesting. I actually don't have a cape. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, something interesting is the texture of the cape will actually apply to the elytra. So you can actually have like orange or whatever color cape you have on your elytra, and it looks really cool. Although, to be fair, I wish there was ways to get capes other than the ways there is now. Like, I wish you could get, like, a phantom cape by, like, killing a hundred phantoms or something like that. That needs to be a thing in the game. Like, say, you, 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 you got the... you tamed every single cat or something like that. And there just need, needs to be that. Anyway, that's just a suggestion. But next you have from skin customization, which is on the on the left. On the right you have music and sounds, which is simply all of the different sounds options. You have master volume, which is just the overall game volume. The music volume, which um well I don't think there's music playing right now. Anyway. Uh, that's that's just music that plays randomly depending on the dimension you're in and then you have jukebox and note blocks uh, this is rather self-explanatory it uh, edits the volume of both note blocks and jukebox which is somewhere in here yeah so if I uh, take a note block you can hear it but if I turn the thing all the way off completely silent so I turn that back on, yeah, 
And then, you know, the same applies with the jukebox, except it acts more like the music options. And then you got weather, which is simply how noisy it is um, with um, how the volume of the rain, basically. The rain and the thunder. I'm not sure if it applies to thunder. Um, but I can't demonstrate that here because this is a buffet world. And it doesn't rain in the savannah as far as, far as I'm concerned. I actually forgot where I was because I just recorded the other half of the episode then lost the footage. So now I have to redo everything. Uh, I'm upset. I believe I was here, right? Yeah, I was at weather. Um, so blocks, um, I have to go back to my world real quickly. Uh, I'm upset. Anyway, um, blocks, um, effect, oh god. I'm upset right now, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, blocks affect how loud blocks are, so like, if I just do this, do that, completely silent. Um, but then if I, hold on, uh, turn that up, then, uh, very, very loud. <laughs> so let's turn that down. Hostile creatures and friendly creatures are just creatures, um, but friendly creatures are s stuff like sheep and cows and villagers and whatnot, anything that doesn't hurt you. Um, and then you have hostile creatures, which is the opposite. Then you have uh, players, which I'm not sure what that is, it's just players, I guess. Ambient slash environment, that's the uh, creepy noises you hear regularly, and that's how you turn them off, is you turn this off. And uh, fixes that issue of having scary noises that give you nightmares at night. And then you have voice slash speech, which is the narrator, I believe. And then show subtitles, which is the um, noises you hear on the bottom right of the screen. And then, uh, from using the sounds, you have video settings, uh, resolution, uh, full screen resolution, which I'm not, I guess it's full screen resolution, graphics, fancy. Um, and then you have this, which is fast. This is um, fast graphics. Also, I <laughs> I'm in a completely different village than I was before. Uh, this is just the boat way I just made um, to get to one from one village to the next. The original village is all the way over there. I'm going to go there right now. Uh, but meanwhile, um, you have. Um, Render distance, which if I turn this down, uh, you can tell what that is. It's simply how many chunks is loaded and how close the fog is. So if I turn that up to a really high number, which I'm not going to do because it's laggy, uh, if I turn it to 12, which is like default, that renders a certain amount of chunks and makes this fog a certain distance away. And then you have uh, smooth lighting, which if I turn that off, firstly, everything looks like crap. But then you go over here, uh, this, you can kind of see the edges of blocks have a different shade of brightness. Very obvious, but if you turn that up, then that's how that works. Then you have max frame rate, which is very self-explanatory. Use V-Sync don't know what that is. Uh, view bobbing, if I turn that off and if you look at my hand, it looks very unnatural and weird, but um, that's because the animation for it bobbing up and down as I walk is not playing. And when I turn that on, my hand starts to move again. And then you have GUI scale, which, you know, it's not a slider, but it's, you know, obvious. I have set to 2 by default. It will be set to auto by default, which sizes by your size of the screen. And then you have um, brightness. By default, it's set to moody, and I recommend to set it to bright. Uh, attack indicator. If I set it to hotbar, then it charges up a sword on the one of the sides of the hotbar, depending on whether or not you're right or left-handed. So you can see that sword charging up. And then if I turn um, this to off, then it does no indicator. And then if I turn it to crosshair, then it shows below my crosshair. And I believe that's what it's set by default. 
uh, and then you have clouds fancy or off. If they're off, then the sky is completely blue, and then you have the sun and moon. Then you change the clouds to fast, which is these two-dimensional clouds. And then you have clouds fancy, which is the volumetric clouds. And then you have full screen, which is self-explanatory particles, which dictates how many particles there are in your world. Um, mip map levels. Um, I have less, I have more clue what Mars looks like than this. Like, wh what is this? I don't know. No one knows what that is. And then you have entity shadows, which is simply the shadow that so shows up below entities, such as uh, this boat. You see that shadow below me, if I go third person. Uh, and if the cat was sitting on the ground, that would be a thing too. Uh, and then, then you have what were we at? Um, biome blend, which is how how steep of a transition the edges of biomes are. I cannot demonstrate that here because this is a buff at world where it's only one biome and that would be the savanna as clearly indicated by the fact that this is a limitless savanna which is not usually how it works. You see rivers and mountains and plains and deserts all around the savanna or maybe it's the savanna island. I'm not sure. Uh, and then you have controls. You can change auto jump to be on or off. Uh, you have all your mouse settings, such as sensitivity or scroll sensitivity, or if you want to invert it for some unknown reason. And then you have touchscreen mode, not sure. Uh, and then you can change all the, you know, the options. I have sprint set to R, which is kind of like the only custom option I have here. Um, don't know what's going on there. Yeah, that, that, um... Hmm, not sure what, why that was being weird. Um, then you have language, which simply changes the languages you have um, you know, on all of Minecraft. And this, this is just, this is basically every single language on the planet. And believe it or not, this also includes some weird languages like pirates speak for whatever reason which isn't actually a, a, an official language, it's just kind of like a joke language. And like some other languages that are just joke languages, that are just like, this is <laughs> just random things, like, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it took a moment to find that. So then you also have uh, chat settings, which is all the settings that dictate chat like uh, whether or not colors appear which uh, I guess you want that or scale very simple uh, chat text opacity or opacity how do you pronounce that not sure uh, width um, not sure what 312 px means but okay uh, focused height and unfocused height not sure what focused and unfocused height do and I don't know why height has to be focused and why focused height has to by default be higher than unfocused height I'm not a developer so I don't know actually I am a developer um, except I'm a very basic makeshift developer so that's, that's fine and then you have narrator which I'm not going to turn on because that is exceptionally annoying um, resource packs, which, you know, you can apply resource packs to the game that changes how the game looks, including how words look, which, um, this resource pack is on by default. Not on by default, but you can use it by default, and it simply changes the, um, textures to what they originally looked like in Minecraft, such as the old, you know, Acacia leaves and acacia leaves and acacia logs and in particular I'm kind of looking at the wheat and the hay bales and it's just what what is this I mean I grew up with this and thought this was okay and 
yeah, when you look at it for long enough, it is okay. You get hungry enough, you eat it. You turn it into bread. I mean, you turn it into bread. <laughs> yeah. So we'll turn that off. And then you have accessibility settings, which is all these settings. And then you also have um, the difficulty. That would be um, you know, whatever this is. So you can set it to peaceful, which is where no hostile mobs can spawn or stay in existence. With the rare exception of, I believe... What else? Um... Hmm. I believe, I think, I don't know. What are, what are the exceptions? Um, there's iron golems which can kill you if they spawn naturally. Um, there's shulkers. So, shulkers are interesting. Those are the biggest exception because they're hostile no matter what. They're not neutral like uh, golems or um, llamas like I was trying to remember. They are always aggressive and they're the only true exception to the list of mobs that basically includes every single hostile mob that's the only one not on the list because shulkers cannot spawn in naturally once they're in the world like this they, they can't actually you know once they're in the world there is no more shulkers to come they just like, you can't have more shulkers basically the shulkers that are already in the world cannot there's only the shulkers already in the world is what I'm trying to say um yeah basically that's the exception to that rule is um you have the only hostile creature is these things you find in peaceful and you don't find these very often in peaceful because in peaceful you probably I fell off you're probably not actually um, countering these very often because you in peaceful you probably living your life in the overworld not and where you find these things anyway um, easy is easy mode you don't take a lot of damage and uh, certain chances of things spawning in with uh, lots of armor on is such as skeletons and zombies is unlikely then you have normal mode which is normal by default and then you have hard something interesting about hard mode is zombies can actually break down doors which means villages actually have to have iron golems to defend the village and even then there's still the random chance of, an, of a random zombie that you just break down the door and then get in and kill the villager or in hard mode at least hard mode 100 percent of the time actually converts the villager into a uh, what is it called? Um, zombie villager. And then you can actually cure a zombie villager. Um, yeah. Zombie villager spawn egg. If I just place this down. Yeah. They look like that. And you can give it a, uh, um, uh, a splash potion of weakness. And then you, you, you can cure it. Um, that's hard mode. And then you can also lock the difficulty. Which is... If you press this, you have uh, this option, which says yes or no, and you you can't change that again, whether or not you lock it or not. I mean, otherwise, locking would be pointless. Anyway, that's difficulty, and then yeah, that's actually it um, for the options menu, and also for today's video. Hope you like it. Uh, goodbye. How do I end?